to use the Oracle Analytics Cloud to build a machine learning model. So I'm going to use Oracle Autonomous Database as a source here. So this is an autonomous database instance in my tenancy in the Oracle Cloud. So you can reach the service console by just clicking this link. It'll take you to the service console. And in the development section, you have SQL Developer Web and the Machine Learning Notebooks. SQL Developer Web is a web-based interface of SQL Developer and the Machine Learning Notebook is a Zeppelin-based interface for data scientists and you can also execute SQL scripts. So I've covered about the Machine Learning Notebooks in the previous video. So I'm going to use the SQL Developer Web to actually run a quick query on the database. So you can see I'm using the schema Deepak and a churn modeling table uh, which has about 10,000 records and to see how the data is I'm executing a query here. You can see it's a customer data and it has details about the credit score, geography, gender, age, tenure, balance, number of products the customer has, they have a credit card or not, are they active or not, what their salary is and whether they have churned or whether they're still with the organization. So I'm going to use this to actually build a churn prediction model and you know predict the customers who are still with the organization but are at risk of being churned so then the organization can use this data to focus on those customers and you know retain them all right now i want to go to my analytics cloud instance so you can reach your oracle analytics cloud in the you know solutions and platform uh, section by clicking the oracle analytics cloud link it'll, it'll bring you to the instance page and you can create multiple instances i've created my peg lounge here so let me open my instance. There you go. So you're in the Oracle Analytics Cloud instance. And here you can have catalogs of projects and uh, folders. And you can connect to data. A lot of connections are already available, I'll show you. You can bring in data sets. You can do data transformations using data flows. And you can have scenarios as well. And uh, there's a machine learning instance to store your machine learning model. Then you can create jobs here. So let us go to the data section. You can see I've created a connection using, you know, the connection capabilities here to my Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse. It's not just the Oracle database that you can connect to. You can connect to a whole heap of other sources like Hive, DB2, Impala, or MySQL, or SQL Server, or even Salesforce, or MongoDB, or PostgreSQL, a whole heap of data sources that you can connect to. So once you've connected, I've connected to the autonomous database. So just click the connection. It is going to list the schemas, then select your schema, and then it is going to list the tables in the particular schema. And on, you can select your relevant tables that you want to add, add all, and then add is going to add that particular table to your uh, data set. So I'm not going to do this because I've already added the tables that are required and I've also split the data into training and test data sets. So I'll be using the training data set to build the model. So if you see each data set has a prepare stage where you can go and prepare your data. It's as easy as you know right click you can convert to a number date or you can split concatenate replace uppercase lowercase a lot of transformations and each action is going to create a, an action here in the script. You know, you can then change the, uh, you know, type as an attribute or a measure. And once you've done all your transformations, you can apply. And one good thing about the uh, transformation process here is, you know, let us take geography as an example. It'll, it's going to bring you out of the box recommendations here. So you can see it has detected that this has a location and you can enrich the location with the capital or the population data or what continent it belongs to. So let us check, enrich it with capital. So you can see it has added the capital for Spain, Germany. And now let me add the population data as well. Right, so it has added the population of that particular country. So this, by adding these enriched uh, information, it is going to give more features to your model. You know, it'll be even richer. So then you can apply your script and then save it. So it is going to save your transformation and add these enrichments. Right. 
I'm not going to do this now because I've already done this. And then data flow is where you can then, you know, build any transformation data flows, or you can also build a machine learning model. So here I've built an artificial neural network model for churn prediction. So, you know, it, it, lists, it lists the different types of uh, actions that you can use. And it's just a matter of dragging and dropping from, you know, the catalog here and you can, you know, use that. So I've connected to your, to my training data set. I've selected the columns. And I've also done an explicit selection here using a select column action. So you can see, I can add a step here by, you know, clicking the plus button. Then, you know, if you want to filter, I can filter, you can add, you know, different options here. So once I've selected, I'm building a binary classifier using a neural net. You can also use any other models here, like logistic regression, uh, neural net, you know, a random forest and SVM. So select your target variable and the positive class. I want to uh, uh, imputate the categorical columns using most frequent and my numerical with mean. And I'm using 80% of my training data for this tr uh, train partition. And this rest 20 is going to use be used for the metrics. And you can choose your optimizer and an activation function. Uh, yeah, so I'm using a logistics point here. And then you can then save your model, just given a name to save your model. So by saving and running this data flow, it is going to run this model and then it will save it. So I've already done that. So you can see it is saved here. So now if I inspect the quality, so it is going to give you the confusion matrix and the different metrics in terms of recall, accuracy, precision, and the F1 score. So my model is about 87% accurate. I mean, though this is just for demo purposes, I've used very less amount of data and it has an F1 score of 0.6. Right, now we have built the model. Let us see how to use it. You can use this model in the data flow itself. You know, I've, I just showed you, you know, there is an option here, you know, to apply a model. So you can use this as well. And you can see there are various other uh, machine learning based functions here in terms of numeric prediction, clustering, multi-classifier, sentiment analysis, etc. So this is one way of using the model. The other way is you can embed the models in your visualization. So let me go to my churn prediction project. So I have the test data here and I need to apply the model to this test data. So let us add a calculation and count the customers. So there are a whole heap of calculations here, you know, you can use to actually uh, do some calculations on your data set. So I'm just going to do a simple count. Save. Right, so it is drag and drop. Right, and it has smart visualization options, so it is going to pick the best visualization based on what your data that you're dragging. So you have 2000 customers in the test data, which is, which is accurate. So let us apply the machine learning model. So right click the test data, create scenario, select the model, and then click OK. So you can see it has created a prediction and a prediction confidence. So these are the two different ways in which you can, you know, apply a model that you've built within Oracle Analytics Cloud. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, right? Thank you so much.